Howdy soldiers, it's your boy Big D here. It's time to review The Last Ship, Season 2, Episode 10, titled Friendly Fire. This is a spoiler review. If you've not seen the episode, go to tnt.com slash The Last Ship. Thanks again for uh, joining me here. Hope you guys had a great week, and this Sunday, Fear the Walking Dead, I will be reviewing the series premiere in that weekly. Sorry for the laptop noise, by the way. You know, it's doing what the laptop does. It makes noise. Let's get right to it, guys. Anyway, spoiler review again. It should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode. Give you my pros and cons and final score. Let's get right to it. First off, Neil's organs. Dr. Scott's working with Neil's organs, and she's touching them, and like, ah, and doing everything very funny about that. Uh, and she wants to make the cure contagious. She can breathe on me any day, ladies and gents. Anyway, so the investigation is going on because Niels died and Tom is like, we need to do an investigation. Ah, Sherlock, Adam Baldwin, you are my Watson. And they go on an investigation and everything. Well, who killed Niels? Because honestly, he's the guy who created this whole damn virus and everything, but still, we're going to justify his death and we're going to get justice for him. Anyway, so the girl makes a move uh, on this guy. I don't know the girl's name. She's the only, like cute girl on the team. She's making a move on the guy and the lieutenant and she's like, oh, you know, yeah. And he's kind of like, I don't know about this. And then basically, hey, no sex on the boat. No sex. It's a rule because, you know, it's not the apocalypse. And who follows procedures? But whatever, you know, you're right here throwing yourself at me legs on the boat, so but no one will find out. So, seriously, I was like, wow, like, she's such a tease, and then she goes to the bath and, like, shower, and then he's kind of just there. Maybe he's just not into women. Who knows? Either way, that's going on. That was probably just an excuse. I'm six, but actually, he's probably not into women. Just saying. Either way, uh, there's a bunch of phones on the guys they've captured last week. They're messaging on a game, and it's basically like a code they need to decipher with their uh, messaging. Dr. Scott, Dr. Scott, she injects herself with the cure where she could breathe on people, make it contagious. She works it on a mouse, like, I thought she was going to eat it for some reason. I was like, well, what are you doing? And I, I, I was like, no, now I can't kiss you. You know, it's just, ah, fictional characters. Anyway, all fingers are pointing towards Dr. Scott. Some of the crew are really looking nasty at her. Like she's Paris Hilton or something, Kim Kardashian. They're like, fake. You know, just sort of that. And basically, I love how Tex, he doesn't know much of anything of the whole thing that's going on, but he's like, well, we wouldn't be here without you. Anyway, thank you so much, baby girl. Thank you for everything, Dr. Scott. I'm like, damn, Tech's going to be playing it soon. He's going to be wanting some. So Chandler, uh, Dr. Scott tells Chandler the truth. She basically confronts, and she says she did kill Niels and everything, and she would do it again in a heartbeat. Murderer! Witness. Witnesses. And she just kills all of them. So she could have done it with Niels alive. She could have taken stuff from his lungs and all that, but she just wanted him dead. But he died too quickly. Ah, he died too quickly. Well... You should, Dr. Scott should have gone up to him and be like, Niels. Or like, Chandler, I had to do what was right. No, Dr. Scott. I could have made him an offer he can't refuse. I know I did that. I, I paraphrased it really, but I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Oh, yes. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just that scene, man. Just that. I know it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. Ooh. We're drifting away, though. Ooh, get it? We're on a boat. Let's get right back to the last ship, though. Uh, either way, Godfather stuff. We're coming this Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So that's going on, and basically, the, the boat is... There's a bunch of explosions, because there are a bunch of boats up ahead, and boom, 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 and there's a full-on attack. The sub is under all those boats that just got exploded. Sean's boat, the Ramses. We are the chosen. And basically, a bunch of torpedoes start going down, and everything's going around. There's a bunch of flares, and they get hit. 
Sean calls and he basically edits a video where it makes it look like Nathan James shot at those ships and then they exploded. So they basically um, they 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 make him look like the bad guys. This thing called Valkyrie. So the cure worked. The mouse is still alive. And when they reach land, they will turn Doctor Scott into the authorities. Ladies and gentlemen, what did I think about this episode overall? The pros first off. The action in this episode, man. The, this whole episode was really slow, not boring, but it was just more of like a okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna worry about characters and character customization, but not really. And then the action came in, and it just blew your mind because it felt so freaking real. Like a torpedo's coming this way, or a break for impact, break for impact, and he sits down and everything, and he's like, he's, he's like Captain Kirk, man. He's like, ah, Spock, come here, and like, ah, yes, uh, Captain Kirk. And then boom, 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 and the flares and everything, and it felt fast-paced action. I like that, man. I love the way it was written and it was done. And the practical effects in here, and the also CGI effects, were very well done. I do enjoy those things. Very intense. The action scenes were intense overall. Uh, I love how it worked, The Cure. I love how finally we get something right. I love how it, it's in the, like the odds are in their favor. We finally get to see more of uh, the lovely Dr. Scott here, so yes indeed, anything with Dr. Scott. Mm -hmm. Magnificent though. It's like a juicy meatball that's ready to be bitten into and these are the juices. He is. Ha ha. Ha. Anyway, Dr. Scott herself, man, she's very uh, delicious. So... I don't know where I'm getting with, really. I'm drifting away again. Ah, what ADHD. Dr. Scott, though. Yeah. Uh, so, text. I love. They don't show much text as a con, but the scenes that he's in, really awesome. Uh, I love how Sean's back. Oh, you Yankee ship. I can't wait to see some Sean and be some like, oh, yeah, it's on back. Oh, you ready for me, Sean? Huh? I've been warming up. Awesome. Uh, I love how the girl on the no sex thing, like that whole scene was really funny and very erotic and then it just stops. It, do, it just fades away like the rest of his career. Awesome. Also, they showed Ray. I know they raised the guy from last week, the teenage boy, and then, like, they didn't show him afterwards, but I, at least they showed him, like, oh, this character's actually alive, you know, like they showed Miller. They show a few other Navy people. Uh, from the crew that we don't really see often like the chef they usually show him every now and then they didn't show him this episode but I'm glad that they actually show and at least give these people some lines so that's pretty cool the only cons really not much text I'm a little bit pissed off about that where is my text where 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 is that Texas boy at man I need some of them Texas lines up in there that, that quick fun witty line from Tex I love them also they focus too much on Dr. Scott but they don't I mean, not the, that they focus on Dr. Scott. I'm talking about the crew. They want to punish her. That's what I'm talking about. They, the whole crew. This whole episode was, should we punish Dr. Scott? Did she do it? Find out next week on the same bat channel, same bat time. It's like, who cares if she did it? Again, it was Niels. Really? You're going to give her to the authorities? I don't think you get it. We NWA. No, seriously. Wow, why are you going to give her to the authority? It's just... What are you doing, mate? Sean will be like, if you don't want Dr. Scott, I'll take her. <laughs> you hear me, Chandler? I hear you. You know, just... Oh, my gosh. it's They focus too much on it. And what about the... And the president's like, we'll do what you do, Chandler. She freaking did the cure, and now she can make it contagious, and you guys are going to throw her away? What happens if it mutates the virus? There's a season three confirmed. I hope you're not getting rid of Dr. Scott because if you do, I promise to you, TNT, I will come after you and I will make their life a living hell. Either way, Dr. Scott, man. Uh, also, they didn't go back to the girl, the whole no sex thing. Like, wow. Like, again, like Wolf and everything. They don't show Wolf a lot. Show those characters more. I'm glad that they give them a little screen time, but come back to them by the end of the episode. We want to see where they're at, you know? Also, where's the other prisoners? Fleet was the only guy on the boat last thing I saw. Are they locked up? Like, why didn't you take them? What are they doing? Are they just locked up? You don't really put no much emphasis 
gang spear on the prisoners. So I'm just, I just want a little little context, you know, a little backstory to the villains. Overall, I'm going to give the last ship guys a solid B. It's a good episode overall. I really enjoyed myself. The action was intense. I love the whole Nathan James finally. The boat and the, the ship and boom, 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 boom. And I'm glad that Sean's back. I love Tex when he does the jokes. I love the whole featuring of Dr. Scott in here and the whole heavy presence now that she is. Um, she's a badass. I love Dr. Scott. She's really cool. And Chandler too. And Adam Baldwin. He didn't really work for me this episode. I love Adam Baldwin. I love I love Mike Slattery. But this, this episode itself didn't work for me. It, it just didn't work with him. Like, he was like, ah, I wonder what pizza tastes like. Tastes like pizza. Was he asking you, Adam Baldwin? Was he asking you? Yeah, I don't think so. Again, guys, this is Sunday for The Walking Dead. And uh, don't forget, I'll be reviewing Hitman, Agent 47, American Ultra, and possibly, possibly, my friend bells out the no, possibly Sinister 2. So, until next, uh, until next Monday, I'll see you all uh, later. I'm going to stop it with you, always.